Unveiling Legal Jargon, Understanding Waiver of Immunity. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a phrase you might have heard in legal dramas or news stories but might not fully understand, waiver of immunity. This concept is not just a cornerstone in legal studies but also a fascinating example of how language operates in specific contexts. Let's demystify this term together. First things first, let's dissect the phrase, waiver of immunity, into two parts to grasp its full meaning. Waiver, this term means the voluntary relinquishment or surrender of some known right or privilege. In simpler terms, it's like saying, I know I have this right, but I choose not to use it. Immunity, in legal contexts, immunity refers to protection from legal action or prosecution. It means you cannot be sued or prosecuted for specific actions under certain conditions. Putting them together, waiver of immunity means voluntarily giving up the protection from legal action or prosecution that one is entitled to. It's a significant legal concept, especially in diplomatic law and international relations, where individuals or entities decide to forego their legal shield. You might wonder, why would anyone willingly give up such a powerful protection? The reasons can vary widely, but here are a few. To face legal proceedings, sometimes, individuals or entities waive immunity to defend themselves in court, showing they have nothing to hide. For moral or ethical reasons, in cases of serious allegations, waiving immunity can be seen as an act of good faith, demonstrating willingness to be held accountable. Diplomatic reasons, countries or international organizations might waive immunity for their members to foster good relations or comply with local laws, ensuring their representatives can be tried in local courts if necessary. To bring this concept to life, let's consider a few examples. Diplomatic immunity, diplomats often have immunity to ensure their safe and efficient function across borders. However, if a diplomat commits a serious crime, their home country might waive immunity to allow legal proceedings. International organizations, members or employees of international organizations like the United Nations may have immunity from jurisdiction in certain matters. Yet, in cases of misconduct, these organizations can waive immunity to allow for proper legal actions. Understanding the phrase, waiver of immunity, opens up a new perspective on how legal concepts intertwine with language and diplomacy. It's a powerful reminder of the balance between legal privileges and accountability. We hope this video has shed some light on this complex but fascinating topic and made your journey into the English language and legal terminology more enriching. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.